Yo, what is up, peoples? You already know what's up. What this means. Unboxing time. So, yeah. I already opened this up. I already tried to make a video, but I messed it up, so. Well, I'm gonna just, you know, redo it, show you what I got. I kind of packed it up, you know, real nice. I repacked it. So, I got five of these Eheim Jaegers. 125 watts. Got them for, uh, you know, my tanks and stuff. Especially when it gets a little in the winter time. It gets cold up, up in my uh, crib. So, yeah, got some of that. Uh, got some freeze-dried earthworms. I got a quarter pound. Right here. Hoping the fish are like this. Uh, I got some freeze-dried bloodworms. An eighth pound of that. I got an eighth pound of freeze-dried red shrimps. See what's up with this. My fish like them. And all these stuff are like real high, high protein, high fat stuff to get them into uh, you know like breeding condition and whatnot. Just to get them to grow a little bit more. Mix it in with my NLS every now and then. This is my high protein fry food to help my fish, well my smaller fish grow, new fish and whatever. I got the regular premium growth and I got the fried green. I'm gonna mix these two together, probably you know half and half. Let's see what this does. Uh, let me see what else. Oh yeah, I got the same growth formula, but in a uh, 0.5. Then I got a one mil for the little bigger guys. I'm gonna mix these two. I got some airstone, ten of these ceramic ones. Uh, hopefully these will last longer than those uh, blue ones you get from like pet stores or whatever. I don't want to deteriorate in my water. I got these ammonia pads. I got four of these ammonia pads from Deep Blue. You can see. And then I got the carbon one right here too. And then, let me see. I got 20 of these temperatures, temperature thermometers. For all my tanks to make sure I got the temperature. Uh, I got 10 of these Lee's Triple Flow. I got the small size this time instead of the large. Got them to fit, you know, smaller tank, like 10 gallons and those little uh, plastic tubs and stuff. I also got three of these uh, uh, Deep Blue Spears Air Pump. The three. They do work. I got one hooked up right now to one of my, uh, one of my uh, box filters in my room. It's pretty nice. It has controllable airflow and stuff and uh, I don't know, it looks nice. It's alright, it ain't too loud. So yeah, that's all I got on this little order from Ken'sFish.com. Best people to order stuff. I ordered it Thursday. Like at uh, like 4.20 on Thursday. I got it today at like 4.20. UPS guy came, told me to deliver the wrong box. I was like, damn homie. He went to move back to his truck and got the right one. I was like, nice. He's balling. So yeah, I guess I can show you my tanks real quick, dude. These are what my, my 125s, these heaters are going in. Some temperatures. I got a, I got a pair of Salvinis. This is my female right here. They're separated because she killed my first male that I had. This is that Elise Triple Flow. This is the large. You can see how big it is. It takes up a lot of space in these 10 gallons. So I'll probably end up switching it out for the small. A male, he is hiding in his cave right here at the moment. Probably ain't coming out. You can see his tail there. I do got a Playco in there with him. I did have a Danio up in here that I had for a while. But she killed him. This is where my 55 used to be. I guess I'll do a quick like update on my tanks or whatever. I'll do like a full in-depth review of like what has happened in the past couple months. And whatever. But yeah, my 55 used to be here. These are some, you know, I bought, I bought like five 10 gallons the other day. There's another new one. Like you can still see the sticker on there and stuff. It's got some plants growing out in here. That's my last piece of Liguidia Cuba that I have got to go submerged from Immersed. That top right here. That star looking top. All the other plants around it. That stem plant is, uh, Liguidia broadleaf and uh, this planted uh, 
far corner is some star grass I got in here. I got everything except the broad leaf from Peabody's Paradise. They did come in real nice, but psh, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess I don't know. I guess my my parameters wasn't good enough for him. Uh, my little plant tub still going to my HC. All this up here is dwarf baby tears is floating, growing like crazy. All these green. I got, also got a whole bunch of plants in there and stuff. Let me show you my. I got a tiger barb in there, just chilling by himself. Snails everywhere. I just let I just let this tank go. I mean, I don't do water changes. I just fill it back up. Whatever happens, happens. I don't know how my fish survived in here, but it's, he's in here, chilling. So yeah, I put the thermometer in here to make sure my temperatures are right. These are the plastic tub I'm talking about. <clears throat> I'm thinking about getting. I'm getting a big metal rack right here, a six and a half foot, one of those metal shelvings. It's supposed to hold 1,800 pounds per shelf of evenly distributed weight. So I probably won't do all that craziness. I'm on second floor, but. Probably get a couple of these tubs. This one, put them uh, those uh, leaves filter in because the large is just a little too large to where I fill these up. But you know, I'll grow some fish out in there and stuff. Okay, it's my 20 extra high by my computer. It doesn't look like what it used to because, uh, well, I just killed all the plants just to see what I didn't see what would happen, but I kind of damaged the plants to see how good they'll grow back. I'm gonna grow them back now took some time so I took out a lot of uh, trimmings to plant my other tank my beta tank with it also got some broad leaf in here trying to grow these up trying to grow them in between to break up the all that pointiness with, you know broad leaf <laughs> let me show you this in my room this is my this is my 55 right here I got it at the foot of my bed I have my 12 rainbows in here that I moved from my 30 gallon. I have my now I have about 15 Bolivians. I have my two lemon tetras some in the front right there. I have two angels now. I bought another one for a dollar. I have a blood fin I got for a dollar. And my quarries in here, my Placo, my whiptail. Uh my plants. I still have all my Amazon and some broad leaf in here. Try to grow them up. See that one's getting red. I tried to put some sage in here, but it's definitely not growing. I have so I have tried to put some pieces of my Rio. I kept them getting dug up and you know they're in the filter right there, you know, plants are getting dug up. Uh Amazon, this is my ruffle sword. Ruffle sword, I think they say it ruffle. And uh well that's doing good now since I got these uh I put my 10 10 watt LEDs on on this tank because I'm T5 I mean T8 shop lights was not working whatsoever. I mean I ended up killing my Russell's my Russell sword, my marble sword is gone, my Uragazi Uragani sword is gone. That's my Prince Klein. This is coming back though. It's real nice. So yeah, this is my 55 planet. This is safety orb. Man, if you use safety absorb, you must use CO2 supplement from the beginning. Unless you have dirt underneath it or something, because that's what I messed up at. It took a while before I got my uh, blue to aldehyde in, before I could cut it and stuff. You know, just start dosing, like how I dose that, you know, how you dose Excel or whatever. But my plants are starting to come back with the, you know, since I've been dosing it, especially this plant. So, yeah. I don't know, I'll probably do a you know full depth review for the safety zor for all my tanks and how they you know how they grow, especially with different plants and whatever. So yeah, I got this hooked up and I have a, I have all these wired you know individually. This is a Belkin Surge Power 10 I think, and then I got that going into a GFCI outlet with a 50 foot extension cord that goes into my other room hooked up. Got my timer. These are all my filters and power head. Uh, it's my uh, hair dryer. Man. Take that off. But yeah, my TV and stuff, and my heater, my Ehime 300 watt. I have my power head pointing up to the top. Get rid of that surface scum buildup. Got a lot of surface agitation. Tomorrow my water change day. I do do EI dosing, micro 
uh, macro micro every other day I dose this tank I, I mix up for a 30 gallon but this is more than that so I do about like 15 about 15 mils every day for this tank a little less like 13 so yeah like a 15 gallon would get like you know a 5 mil dose I have it mixed up for a 10 mil dosing for, t for 30 gallons so yeah just dose a little bit more a little less depending on the water volume this tank looks all right it's coming back hopefully and I got this is the deep blue spear you can kind of hear it. it's not that loud but it's pushing water it's a lot more water than what it was with my other air pump this is my Brashardi tank I do have a pair these guys got real big I got them when there was about a half inch maybe now they're about an inch I have one more in here it's kind of hiding but those are those fake ceramic rocks that I got from my Ken's fish that 15 pack or whatever yeah I got some crushed coral some uh, these are uh, these are mystery snail shells <laughs> that I used to have that died off and I kept the shells and whatever they did, luckily they didn't uh, deteriorate in fresh water Those some softer fresh water I had them in a, in a brackish tank so the water was a little hard but yeah, I got this cobalt 300 watt. Probably change that out for the 125. Run less uh, wa uh, power. But yeah, my African tank. Little update, little unboxing. I'll add me, people.